The Dolphins were ready to rebound after their loss in Oakland, but the New England Patriots had some surprises ready for Miami, like five foot five inch Mac Heron, number 42. The Patriots came close to scoring first when Josh Ashton, number 31, broke loose in the Miami secondary. From the four-yard line, vaulting specialist Sam Bam Cunningham let the Dolphins off the hook. After a scoreless first quarter, Eugene Mercury Morris followed number 66 Larry Little, among others, to an easy touchdown. Less than two minutes later, Mighty Mercury took the game into his own hands. Time, Miami led 20 to 3, but Jim Plunkett brought the Patriots back with a pass to Reggie Rucker, number 33. While the New England offense definitely has a new look this season, occasionally it looks a little like last year or the year before, because Jim Plunkett still must scramble. And when in trouble, he'll still look for his old Stanford buddy, Randy Rabbit Vataha, number 18. Midway in the third period, John Tarver, number 36, cut over tackle and into the Miami end zone. And while this is indeed a rare sight for Miami watchers, imagine their surprise when moments later, following a Bob Greasy fumble, Tarver again cut into the end zone, this time bringing New England within a touchdown after three quarters. In the fourth period, Jim Plunkett rang up another touchdown with a corner shot to Reggie Rucker. But the young Patriots of Chuck Fairbanks are not quite ready to outscore the world champions. For any young team, mistakes of inexperience will usually lead directly to defeat. The Dolphins scored three times in the fourth quarter, once on Nick Bonacani's fumble return, once on a perfect Bob Greasy post pattern to Paul Warfield, and once on another swing down the lane by the 73 model Mercury, on the way to a Miami record of 197 yards rushing, and finally, a convincing victory for the Miami Dolphins. 